Good afternoon, y'all. Welcome back to the kitchen. We are about to be doing lots of food prep over here, and we're gonna make everybody's favorite banana bread because I have lots of bananas that I need to do something with. I'm gonna make the banana bread and I'm gonna put some of them in the freezer for smoothies. I have this candle sitting over here with the fridge organizers. Let me show it to y'all real quick. They had it at Walmart. Let's give them pumpkin to talk about. It says it's uh, pumpkin, nutmeg, and cinnamon. It smells amazing. I haven't burned it yet, so I can't, like, I don't know how good the throw is gonna be. It's a mainstays one. Sometimes they're pretty good, sometimes they're not. Anyway, I'll let y'all know how it is when I start burning it. I think I have everything laid out over here that I'm gonna need. I don't have all my bowls out, but I did go ahead and get some bowls out. We're gonna slice up this watermelon half, cantaloupe, kiwi. I need to put my strawberries into a glass container. We're gonna boil these eggs because Jacob asked if I would make some more of that tuna salad. I don't have any more tuna here, but I'm gonna go ahead and boil these eggs and uh, we're going tonight. Y'all know I left a night empty for Titus to pick something for supper because normally he comes up with some idea of something to cook. Well, his idea is to go out to eat. So <laughs> we're going out to eat tonight and we'll just stop by a store sometime either on our way or on our way back and I'll get some cans of tuna. So I'll just go ahead and boil these eggs, have them in the refrigerator ready to go. I'm going to refill my little pancake syrup dispenser. This cheese was opened up and we're going to need shredded cheese for the cheeseburger wraps. Those are going to be for supper either tomorrow or Tuesday. So I'm just going to go ahead and shred this cheese for those. I need to make some tea. We're going to go ahead and slice up this yellow squash. We're gonna have pork chops, once again, either tomorrow or Tuesday. And I'm gonna make squash casserole to go with the pork chops. So we're gonna go ahead and have the squash sliced up, ready to go in the refrigerator. This is for the banana bread. And I was gonna go ahead and cook the ground beef for the cheeseburger wrap night, but I already stuck it in the freezer. So instead of thawing it out and cooking it, we'll just, we'll just do that day of cheeseburger wrap day. It doesn't take that long anyway. I think that's everything. I made myself a little list here. First thing we need to do is the thing that takes the longest. That's the banana bread. I already have the oven preheated to 325, so we're gonna go ahead and get everything mixed up for that. First, we mash the bananas. All right, we've got the bananas ready. I just got banana and water all over my shirt. <laughs> This is everybody's favorite banana bread recipe. It's the copycat Starbucks one. We've made lots of different ones and this is the one that the kids always ask for. Manly's taking his nap. I'm gonna try to do that quietly. <laughs> it doesn't really matter though. Normally he sleeps through anything during his nap time. All right, so we move the bananas over to the side for now. In this bowl, we're gonna put two cups of flour. And we'll leave that out because we need to spray and flour our little loaf pan. One teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'll just eyeball that one. There we go. Now we'll whisk all of that together. And we're done with the baking soda, so I'll go ahead and put it on. Clean as you go, clean as you go. One egg, half a cup of oil, one and one eighth of a cup of sugar. We're putting in two tablespoons of buttermilk, half a teaspoon of vanilla, so you can see it looks kind of dry. It almost looks like a cookie dough before you add the bananas. But when we put the bananas in, it starts looking better. All right, so we'll get this spread out. We're gonna put chopped pecans on the top. You can mix them in with the bread if you want to, but we like to just put them on the top. All right, now this is going in the oven at 325 for 50 to 75 minutes. I'm gonna start checking it at 40 minutes though, and if it's starting to brown too much on the top, I put a little piece of aluminum foil over it and let it finish cooking the rest of the way like that because we don't want it to get too brown on top. strawberries going in the glass container here. You don't wash them first. You just put them in here unwashed. They keep longer if you don't wash them. And then of course, you know, wash them before you eat them. 
This is my favorite container to put the strawberries in. You can put it in any glass container, of course, but this one, it holds a whole pound of strawberries. I got it from Aldi. Now the watermelon. So how much summer break do y'all have left? We still have, we start back mid-August, so we still have about two, two or two and a half weeks left. Still lots of time to fit in some summer fun. We're planning to go to the Pigeon Forge tonight. I think Titus is wanting to go eat somewhere up in like a little mountain area, but not, of course, not Pigeon Forge. That would take a long time. <laughs> but we are planning a Pigeon Forge trip before summer break is over. I'm leaving a little bit on the rind because we're gonna give this to the chickens for a treat. We used to have picky chickens. Y'all remember they didn't wanna eat anything. <laughs> Look, here they come already, Tyler. I'm gonna cut the cantaloupes just in. Um, when Jake and Tyler were little, they used to call them cantaloupe smiles because I would put the whole, you know, cantaloupe shape here. But so that it'll fit in my bowl better, I'm gonna cut the smiles in half. We'll have half smiles. This, if it's not all eaten before the day gets here, is gonna go with some gravy biscuits one morning. For a while, I was prepping the fruit and putting it in the little blue Tupperware-like Pioneer Woman bowls, but nobody knows what's in there. So, it doesn't end up getting eaten as quick because nobody knows what's in those bowls. They think it's leftovers or something. So now, I'm putting them in the clear bowls that I got from Aldi, and it goes pretty quick. For the kiwi, somebody asked if I would show when I peel it next time. So I just cut off the ends and then the rest of it just peels right off most of the time. Sometimes you get one that doesn't wanna do right, but most of the time it just peels right off like that. And then I just slice them up. I checked on the banana bread and I went ahead and put a little bit of foil over the top of it. We're almost done. When we finish the kiwi, we're gonna slice up the squash, shred the cheese, Fill up the pancake syrup, finish the tea, and by then, the banana bread is probably gonna be done. are done and it is almost time to go eat. Bigfoot at this place. Bigfoot at this place? You ain't got to worry about Bigfoot. Daddy sees him. I'll rope him, tie him up, and take him to the police so people can finally see what he really is. Everybody says they see him, but nobody videos him. That's the problem. Okay y'all, so this evening we went on a little nature trail thing. We went to eat. Now we've stopped here at this park for a restroom break and I wanna show y'all what Titus has been looking like this whole time. Go ahead and give him a little peek. <laughs> oh, oh, right under his new shirt is gonna come out. It's gonna be- uh, Ventilation. My initials will be on it for you be able to put deodorant on throughout the day. If you need, if you need to. 
This thing just now getting to the point where it's actually comfortable. Broke in. I thought it was a grill set up over here. It's trash. We are in bear country. Yeah, that's the reason they have these trash cans. Bear country. Are you making bear noises, Manny? Yeah. Another bridge. If you look to your right, you may see Nessie, the Nessie of America, inside this body of water. We heard Bigfoot. It's really just a kid up at one of those cabins yelling. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Eat me a peanut butter waffle. It might be very late, but I do not care. Longhorns did not satisfy me, so I will now spread my peanut butter. <laughs> my off bread great value peanut butter. I've got my milk in the freezer. Now I ain't gonna sing this part to him, my mom is gonna talk to him. I got up at one o'clock in the morning, and I was kinda hungry the other night, and I came inside of the kitchen. And I made myself a treat. <laughs> now he's addicted. He's good at everything. Woo! Boy, they what? He's moved up to two, though. You got two tonight? No, baby. Tonight, I'm, I'm on a diet. I'm, I'm doing okay. one. There it is. Late night snack. All right, y'all. I've already got the coffee pot ready here for in the morning. Breakfast tomorrow is going to be cinnamon rolls, eggs, fruit, sausage, or bacon. So I don't really have to prep anything. And I already have the fruit cut up ready to go. It's time for Lights Out.